Okay, here we are in Mailer Lite, and they have a new service where you can build a website. I've never done this before. I don't even know what it really does, but several people have been asking me about building websites, and as we know, I will not dig into my deep, dark past of WordPress, and I refuse to build WordPress sites, but this just looks too good to be true, and then it's all integrated with the Mailer Lite, with the mailing list system, so I figured I've got to try it out, and there's three people asking me, about this. So here we go. I'm going to check it out so I can walk the talk and I can say, hey, what can we do here? So here, just briefly, customize templates, get started quickly, interactive forms, quizzes, maps, and pop-ups. I mean, interactive forms and quizzes, that's already sort of a game changer right there because to get that done in something like WordPress, of course it's possible, but tricky, right? And so then guess what? It's all going to be integrated with your with the mailing list software. So you do a form, you do a quiz, well, guess what? They're just, they're now signed up for a certain group, they're tagged in a certain way, they're now part of a mailing list, they can send out the thing, blah, 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 get it? Kind of cool, right? So let's see what this thing looks like. Create, I've never done this. Website name, I don't know. I'm just messing around, right? So I'm just gonna do this. To, let's see what, see what we get here. So if it's anything like the mailing list software, it's super easy to use, drag and drop, fun even, and can and do really, really cool stuff without, oh, subscriber groups. Okay, interesting. So I'm gonna just pick my main repossible group here. And I don't even know what I'm having them subscribe to, but whatever, we'll figure that out. So then I'm choosing a template. Now I suppose this means, okay, these are different than the mailing list templates. So I guess these are their website templates. Okay, kind of cool, right? So here, I'm thinking I have one person in mind, <clears throat> Rich, uh, here. So let me pretend I'm you and pretend it's sort of a personal brand. And then what would be a good one? I mean, I, I'm big in the photography, but interior consultants, I mean that, here, we can do a preview. So what are there? 14 different options here that you can uh, have. There are templates for a website. Okay, nice. Let's just let's just flip through these real quick to get let's get a quick idea of what they have on offer here. And then I don't even know how that works with other pages, but you know I'm not really concerned because here are books. You know that's nice, right? Books. Major photography one, a little heavy on the photography. Uh, that's way too producty. Oh, it's even called product. Look at that. So here, I, this is more of my alley. We got a pretty picture, but then there's text. So nice, nice balance of text and and photos. That one looks nice. Okay, it looks like a like an event. Oh, it's called event. I'm so good. I'm so good. Jim. Okay, this is also nice. We got a combination of photos and sort of main text. Uh, okay, pretty. I'm just going to pick one of these just so we can get started and play with it. I kind of like that travel looking one there. But okay, we get the idea, right? You get your basic... Um, I'm going to do that. Yeah, uh, was it this one? Yeah, this is nice. Okay, use this. Here we go. Let's see what we get. I imagine it's gonna be drag and drop. If you're familiar with the mailing list, then you already know how this works. And ideally, of course, it works the same because then you're you're gonna be working on your site and on your mailing list at the same time. And what's going on? Okay, so here we go, it's loaded the template. Now if it's, I'm just gonna assume it's like the mailing list builder. So I'm gonna go over here and I could, okay, I could change out the logo, change, and then it's gonna go, of course, into my existing stuff. So I'll go find some logo, choose that. Logo up top, yay, I'm sure you can change size and all that. Uh, how do I change those? Okay, there's the links to the pages. I can add new pages, I'm sure. Right. Oh, the big button. I say contact settings. There they are. Uh, so that would be the main header. And I guess there's going to be different pages, right? Because that's what that thing does. Here, this is 
Oh, that's kind of new that you can do this stuff there. That's a little different than the mailing list, but that's even easier. And here's your intro. Let's say I wanted to change this background image. There's a background image. I would delete that, change another one. You know what's also really cool is that in here you can use Unsplash. So I could do, I could pick some really cool image, put it in here, say select, and there's my background image. Kind of cool, right? So Unsplash is integrated into MailerLite. So there we go. So these are not featured properties, but oh, wow, I can do that right here on the fly. Featured, whatever. Okay, I'm just making this up. So here, these are probably gonna be edit content. How do I do that? Oh, right there in the, right here. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Let's see, there's more stuff, okay. Right, pretty easy, right? And then sign up and look at that. So this is where, I mean, this is a pain in a website to get the subscriber button all linked up to your mailing list. Oh, wait a minute, this is the mailing list. So we're done here. Oh, primary navigation, that's where I would change this about links. So great, let's, these are the pages. Oh, okay, well I did, I, as I said, I, I don't know anything about this, right? So I, Oh, look at that. So there we go. So this is about, you know, me, right? Me. Change the photo. There we go. And then how did I get to that page thing? Say, there's the pages. Okay. So I can choose the different pages. Here we go. I can create a new page. Not found a password protected page. Let's see, what if I create a new page? I wanna see what type of pages we can have. Oh, that's what I wanted. There we go, look at that, you can create a blog page. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Save, now I have a blog page. Look at that, and there's your blogs, probably automatically in here with the categories. I mean, what more do you need? I think we're done here. I think this shows us the the, the ability, what it does, it it's, looks like it's super easy to use, you know, drag and drop and click and change and change text and you're done. And we are, we are set. So I'm gonna fully recommend this as a way for a simple website, uh, because why not? And then you don't have to mess with WordPress and you know, I'm not gonna help you anyway, right? So <laughs> set as homepage. Okay, some SEO tools in here. Yeah, I mean, this is what you need. You need your basic stuff. Settings, these are probably sort of general settings. Preview, well, preview is not gonna look a whole lot different than this is. There you go, there's your beautiful page, right? Mobile, I'm sure it's mobile friendly, yep. Great, we're done. I mean, what else might you need? What if I needed to, oh, blocks, that's what I wanna know. Okay, there we go, we're done here. So this, this blocks thing, this is fantastic. And can we add, yep, there we go. See the forms and then the surveys and quizzes. These, you're gonna need plugins galore in WordPress for something like this. And it's all integrated, it's all right here. We're, we're done here. The table, recent posts, there's your HTML. You need something fancy, there's your code, anchor. Oh, and I read about this, there's some reason, you can do a purchase, you can sell stuff in here. Testimonials. We're good, this is all you need. I think this is absolutely perfect for uh, what you wanna do and give it a go and here, publish. I'm gonna publish it. And then, because I, I do wanna know about how to make this your domain, I'm not gonna really do it, but I'd like to see how do you make, how do you change this into your actual domain, but I'm sure it's just a DNS setting in your domain registrar yeah, here we go, website URL. See, so if you add, want to use your own domain name, click add your own domain, and then it's gonna to go to your thing. Otherwise, it's gonna be this nasty thing here. But, let me see if that'll even work. Yeah. Right, so there we go. So there is a full-blown website I just made in 10 minutes and you can change the URL to make it yours, and you're all set. Okay, 
we're good. And then subscribe to groups and I'm sure you can do different groups depending on the different pages for your different products or services or whatnot. And I think that's all you need, analytics on the blog. Okay, got some basic analytics, fine. Blog, oh, oh, it even has a RSS feed for your blog, that's cool. Oh, and create a post, let me just look at that real quick. Let's see how this works. Okay, so super basic, but uh, blog, slug, featured image, excerpt, but where's your main, oh, add content. Okay, so here, this is then the excerpt, this is the tool, there's a featured image, and then what? Then you add content. Oh, then it's gonna go back to the pretty designer. Oh, there we go. Wow. Save and published, and I just published the first blog post. Okay. This is super worth it. Automation, by the way, uh, th this is, I mean, just awesome. This is so somebody signs up and then they're going to get a three email or five email automation sequence based on which, which group they've joined. And that's all built in right here. Okay, we're done. I've said we're done three times, so we're done this time. And thanks for watching.